lest ye should tread them underfoot, and thus incur guilt for them unknowingly, that Allah might bring into his mercy whom he will. If the believers and the disbelievers had been clearly separated, we verily had punished those of them who disbelieved with painful punishment. When those who disbelieve had set up in their hearts zealotry, the zealotry of the age of ignorance, then Allah sent down his peace of reassurance upon his messenger and upon the believers, and imposed on them the word of self-restraint, for they were worthy of it and meet for it. And Allah is aware of all things. Allah hath fulfilled the vision for his messenger in very truth. Ye shall indeed enter the inviolable place of worship, if Allah will, secure, having your hair shaven and cut, not fearing. But he knoweth that which ye know not, and hath given you a near victory beforehand. He it is who hath sent his messenger with the guidance and the religion of truth, that he may cause it to prevail over all religion, and Allah sufficeth as a witness. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those with him are hard against the disbelievers and merciful among themselves. Thou, O Muhammad, seest them bowing and falling prostrate in worship, seeking bounty from Allah and his acceptance. The mark of them is on their foreheads from traces of prostration. Such is their likeness in the Torah and their likeness in the gospel. Like as sown corn that sendeth forth its shoot and strengtheneth it and riseth firm upon its stalk, delighting the sowers, that he may enrage the disbelievers with the sight of them. Allah hath promised unto such of them as believe and do good works, forgiveness and immense reward. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. O ye who believe, be not forward in the presence of Allah and His Messenger, and keep your duty to Allah. Lo, Allah is hearer, knower. O ye who believe, lift not up your voices above the voice of the Prophet, nor shout when speaking to him as ye shout one to another lest your works be rendered vain while ye perceive not. Lo, they who subdue their voices in the presence of the Messenger of Allah, those are they whose hearts Allah hath proven unto righteousness. Theirs will be forgiveness and immense reward. Lo, those who call thee from behind the private apartments, most of them have no sense. And if they had had patience till thou camest forth unto them, it had been better for them. And Allah is forgiving, merciful. O ye who believe, if an evil liver bring you tidings, verify it, lest ye smite some folk in ignorance, and afterward repent of what ye did. And know that the messenger of Allah is among you. If he were to obey you in much of the government, ye would surely be in trouble. But Allah hath endeared the faith to you, and hath beautified it in your hearts, and hath made disbelief and lewdness and rebellion hateful unto you. Such are they who are rightly guided. It is a bounty and a grace from Allah, and Allah is knower, wise. And if two parties of believers fall to fighting, then make peace between them. And if one party of them doth wrong to the other, fight ye that which doth wrong, till it return unto the ordinance of Allah. Then, if it return, make peace between them justly, and act equitably. Lo, Allah loveth the equitable. The believers are naught else than brothers. Therefore make peace between your brethren, and observe your duty to Allah, that haply ye may obtain mercy. O ye who believe, let not a folk deride a folk who may be better than they are, nor let women deride women who may be better than they are. Neither defame one another, nor insult one another by nicknames. Bad is the name of lewdness after faith, and whoso turneth not in repentance, 
such are evil doers. O ye who believe, shun much suspicion, for lo, some suspicion is a crime. And spy not, neither backbite one another. Would one of you love to eat the flesh of his dead brother? Ye abhor that, so abhor the other. And keep your duty to Allah. Lo, Allah is relenting, merciful. O oh, mankind, lo, we have created you, male and female, and have made you nations and tribes, that ye may know one another. Lo, the noblest of you in the sight of Allah is the best in conduct. Lo, Allah is knower, aware. The wandering Arabs say, We believe. Say unto them, O Muhammad, ye believe not, but rather say, We submit. For the faith hath not yet entered into your hearts. Yet, if ye obey Allah and his messenger, he will not withhold from you aught of the reward of your deeds. Lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. True believers are those only who believe in Allah and his messenger, and afterward doubt not, but strive with their wealth and their lives for the cause of Allah. Such are the sincere. Say unto them, O Muhammad, would ye teach Allah your religion, when Allah knoweth all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth, and Allah is aware of all things. They make it a favor unto thee, Muhammad, that they have surrendered unto him. Say, deem not your surrender a favor unto me. Nay, but Allah doth confer a favor on you, inasmuch as he hath led you to the faith, if ye are earnest. Lo, Allah knoweth the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is seer of what ye do. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Qaf, by the glorious Qur'an. Nay, but they marvel that a warner of their own hath come unto them, and the disbelievers say, this is a strange thing. When we are dead and have become dust, shall we be brought back again? That would be a far return. We know that which the earth taketh of them, and with us is a recording book. Nay, but they have denied the truth when it came unto them, therefore they are now in troubled case.